I've got something special. RTX 4090. At the time of me making this video, it's not really supposed to be out there. That's why it feels very secretive. But I'm excited to show you this. I hope you are. Let's have a look what's inside. Looking for a cheap way to license your windows? Check out Hookies through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out Hookies.com in the video description below. Now, this is a very high-end card, okay? And it's for people who want to have the best of the best, right? 1490. We're not going to talk about the performance in this video. That's coming out later so hit subscribe and stay tuned for that but let's have a look what's changed then first of all the box is kind of like a cut corners type of box this reminds me of the um, asus tough 3090 ti box because that was very very similar all righty then look at that okay we've got the gpu in there it's heavy we have some uh, cards do we get the graphics card as well thank you for an asus graphics card purchase oh it's like a little um stand or something you can um, make it stand up card for this if anyone is collecting these warranty card graphics card holder so there's a sack racket somewhere as well we have a little uh cable strip here tough gaming cable strip i'm not a big fan of this and then finally the connector oh my goodness there is four eight pin pcie connectors to connect up to this one so make sure your power supply has four of them i think i'm gonna have to upgrade the gpu test bench just because we need more than this yikes and then this is the sack record so this goes like on your pc case and then this part comes up and then you kind of push it against your graphics card tighten it up but interestingly if you take it out it's actually a, a screwdriver yikes that is a big big graphics card it's absolutely huge it's very very heavy like all the construction here is made out of out of metal and it, it feels solid you know sometimes you get a graphics card and some of the frame bends a little bit this is absolutely rock 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 solid and it's absolutely huge 40 and 90 look at that so this is the back panel and they've changed it a little bit previously we had like tire tracks kind of coming through here we don't have that anymore i think i like this one much more massive blow through of the graphics card here as you can see the pcb ends look at that in here so somewhere these two screws are the end of the pcb and then we have the rest just to blow through and even the fans as you can see bottom there the fans go further than the heatsink so the fan goes maybe like two centimeters wider than the actual heatsink as well so the third fan here is completely just to blow through we can see two bio switches here performance and quiet and then obviously the power connector that supports up to 600 watts looking from the sides we have tough gaming massive openings here you can see the huge heat sink there and this time we can actually see a vapor chamber there as well so there's not just heat pipes connected to the gpu die but also a vapor chamber which should increase the cooling i mean we're pushing what 450 watt plus through there you probably need that cooling as well so the whole color of the metal is kind of a silver or like a gunmetal gray type of color now when we look at the fans the fans are very very big as well fan diameter is 103 104 millimeters so add a little bit more and we're getting almost 120 millimeter fans which is ridiculous so they're basically just shy of being 120 millimeters i mean they could have done that actually had this middle fan a little bit wider and had 120 millimeter fan in the middle and then they're actually 15 or 14 millimeters deep as well while we're measuring things here we have some coordinates here i think this is like the asus's headquarters somewhere in taiwan
and then look at the card length here 35 centimeters roughly absolutely ridiculous we have 7.5 centimeters roughly the thickness this here i think is the fan connectors here all of them all the fans come in here and then the led connector obviously the pci um, slot where you plug it in then and the back end of the uh, card we can see three screws so this is for probably ais and um, companies if they want to like manufacture their own gpu sack bracket and attach it to the case this is where you can do that just screw it in here and it holds the other side in so how many heat pipes can we see there is one on the bottom there so something that goes on the side as you can see it goes in there there's one two three four five six seven eight eight heat pipes to cool this down then last of all let's have a look at the ports so we have hdmi 2.1 ports two of them over here which is nice to get five video outputs, not four. And then we have three DisplayPort 1.4 ports there as well. And as you can see, the card is pretty much three and a half slot thick. So you can kind of imaginatively put another slot in here, another, and then you've got four. I thought we're going to look at this compared to also the, you know, the children's graphics card that is tiny, tiny graphics card here. And what's this? Wow. Remember the, the really, you know, naff and old graphics card, the RTX 3090? So do you remember when we thought this RTX 3090 was a huge card? Okay, now compare it to this. Let me put it down so we can actually measure it. Okay, look how much bigger this is. So you can see obviously the length here, but also I think the width is bigger as well. So right now I've put them on top of each other. So as you can see, they're parallel in here. But as you can see, the bottom card is about two centimeters wider as well. So we'll have to check that how close this is to the actual glass panel inside the case because that is really, 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 really wide. And look how much longer this is. Can you see? You've got an extra like, what, two inches almost longer. And obviously the thick thickness of it is another league here. It's absolutely massive, massive, massive. And when you compare them side by side like this, you can see really how much bigger the fans are here on the 1490. Can you see that? And now noticing the fans are deeper as well. So these fans are maybe 10 millimeters um, deep. These are about 15 or even more. They're much, much deeper, which means they can scoop much more air and push it through. So that's uh, very, very interesting. Okay, I'm excited to start testing this GPU. So stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna have to find a new PSU to actually power this thing. And then we can actually benchmark this. So stay tuned for that. But if you're a creator and you wanna build yourself a creator PC, then check out the links for creator PC guides in the description below. There's four videos there that range the budgets from $750 all the way to $5,000. So if you are slotting into anywhere between there, there's going to be a PC build for you because each video also is going to modify a little bit the price. So if you're looking to build yourself a PC and you're wondering what's the best bang for buck for my price, check those videos out. They'll be linked down below. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.